Right, so spooling our line. Something we've all got to do, but let's be honest, it can be a right pain in the ass. The main challenge that we've got to face is to avoid the line twist. Now, there's several ways that, um, that we probably all know how to do this. Just put in your water, your spool in a, a bucket of warm water, label up, label down, putting your spool on a, on a spindle, on a pencil, balancing it between your knees, having a mate do it, using a spooling station. The trouble with all these methods is no matter how well you do it, you are going to get some element of line twist because you're trying to get line that's coming off of a spool this way onto a spool this way. So at best, every turn, you're going to get one twist in your line. Now there is a couple of ways you can get around this. Some of them are easier than others. You can go to a, a field, walk your line out, and then wind it onto your spool. You can use your wraps, measure out however many hundred yards you want to put on your spool and then wrap it off. Or you can use one of these from, oh, I'm not gonna try to pronounce them for you, from these guys here. Now, the way I like to do it, still soak the spool to get the line nice and soft. Some of the people will recommend that you do it overnight. I would just do it for an hour or two. The trouble if you do it for too long, it can take on too much water. It will go on lovely on your spool, but then as it dries, it will shrink up and, um, and you'll find, particularly as you go deeper into the line, that it will start getting um, a little crinkly. It won't behave very well. It might start to cause frap ups and, uh, and may even weaken the line as well. So just do it for a couple of hours. Make it nice and soft and supple. And then all you do, attach it onto the device, clamps in. Attach the line to your spool. I tend to use just a two turn Grinner knot for this. So effectively um, creating a, a slip knot um, that doesn't have too large a profile. Um, but uh, whichever way that you find easier, some people might uh, just tape on the line without, uh, without making a knot. The spool reducers that I'm using, they do have a little crevice here, so I try to snug the knot into that and um, leave a reasonable tag so that uh, the tag actually gets pushed down and then just simply wind it on and for every twist that you would potentially get in the line the spool itself twists now you can adjust the tension of the line with the nuts at the top and you'll find this is a very simple one-man operation that won't take you very long at all There you have it, perfectly loaded spool, no line twist at all. You can check it by pulling off some slack and seeing that it doesn't twist. And then it's simply a case of snipping that off, putting your next reel on until they're all done. Now I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but if I make that line go limp, that's how it's coming off the spool. pretty much dead straight, no line twist whatsoever. Right, this is the easiest way I know to take your line off the spools. No need to use scissors or put anything hot near your spools and risk nicking them. All I've done here, there's three rods worth of line here, that's a thousand yards of line. I've just done it in the back garden, stuck the wrap, wrap sticks out and wrapped the line off took a couple of minutes. Once it's all off, just lift it off. Wrap 
wrap it up. And then it's just off to the nearest lime recycling bin. So there you have it. Quick and easy way to get perfect line lay and to get line on your spools. There's a lot of gimmicks out there, but this little tool doesn't cost much. This one was about um, £17 off of eBay. It will save you time, money, it will help you cast further, it will reduce your frap ups, and consequently it will catch you more fish.